Hello again, I'm your host Zadagas. For this guide we'll be using Crossover to install the game. Go ahead and download Crossover if you haven't already. Once the software is running, we'll need to create a new bottle. Click the plus sign near the lower left side of the screen, then select New Bottle. Give the bottle a name and change the Windows version to Windows 10 64-bit. Hit Create and our new bottle will be made. Our second step is to install .NET 4.0. Right click your bottle and select Install Software Into. Type in .NET 4.0 and select the first option that appears. Follow the installation process and if you are asked to reboot, just select Reboot Later. Once .NET is installed, you can move on to the next step. Go ahead and download the Eden installer if you haven't already. Once you have the installer, go back to Crossover and double click that Run command. Now click Browse. Navigate to where you downloaded the installer. Highlight installer.exe and hit Run. Follow the installation process and when it's complete, just hit Finish. Alright, let's bring up that Run command again and hit Browse. From here, we'll navigate our way to the Final Fantasy Config application. Highlight Final Fantasy XI config.exe, then click Open. Now click Run. Make sure to change the game from full screen mode to borderless windowed mode, otherwise the game won't run. Now change your screen size to your desired resolution. Click OK and your settings will be saved. If you want to give the game a bit of a performance boost, you can enable eSync. Right click your Final Fantasy bottle, go down to settings and click on the eSync option. Then click on the blue reboot button to enable the feature. Alright so now it's finally time to launch the game. Open up that run command again and hit browse. From here, we'll navigate to the custom Eden launcher. Highlight EdenXI.exe, then click open. But before we hit run, we'll want to add the server address. Copy the address from the description and paste it after our run command. Make sure to leave a space between the run command and our server text. Now go ahead and hit run. Check the I agree box, click proceed. This will allow you to log into the game. And there you have it, Final Fantasy XI running on App 1.1, mystery solved. If you like the content on this channel, please show us some love on YouTube by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, or even subscribing. Until our next mystery, take care and be excellent.